What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Kick back, relaxing. Come take a ride with me. So Coach Nate Oates in Alabama finally make it official with North Dakota 6'11 forward, point forward, Grant Nelson. He had been linked to the program for weeks now, even up to when Jaron Stevenson reclassed and committed about a week ago. Now it is official. He chooses Roll Tide over Arkansas. Coach M, man, this is a major get. We're talking about an instant impact player in that front court who should he should immediately be the best big on that roster, most productive on the team. And man, just the athleticism that he brings. You you talk about like a guy like Noah Clowney last year. Grant Nelson can be that type of player. Man, they are about to truly unlock him in Alabama in that system, man. I'm telling you, he get down there to Tuscaloosa, we talking league, baby. We talking league. Ooh, and this is a guy that I personally covered in North Dakota when I was in North Dakota living there as a sports anchor. So I'm very familiar with his game. Just going to start off by saying that. But, hey, man, let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. Last season, he averaged almost 18 points a game, nine boards and two assists, and he shot 52% from the field, almost 30% from the three-point line on catch-and-shoot opportunities. But the explosiveness and the athleticism jump off the film immediately. As soon as you cut the tape on, you notice that he is different. 6'11", with the potential to initiate the offense, handle the ball, Already showing that he can get to the basket off the bounce, beat his man off the dribble. Bigger defenders, smaller defenders. Hey, he can get into the lane off the bounce. Looks comfortable. Nice crossover. Not afraid to put his opponent through the freaking rim. I'm talking explosive athleticism. He is going to come in and be able to just punish people inside the paint, man, like, he's going to be an athlete that I think is going to catch some people by surprise if they haven't seen the tape, just the explosiveness, the nimbleness, he runs like a gazelle, being able to be agile, get up and down the floor, block shots, you know, I think that'll be a part of his game that they they will unlock more down at Alabama on the defensive side, but offensively, man, I mean, you talk about a kid that can shoot the rock, spread it at 6'11", is getting it off the dribble, uh, adept paint finisher, can finish through contact, can finish over with length. I mean, he's long. He was in the NBA draft, took his name out, but, you know, obviously entered the transfer portal and was a highly touted prospect. He was dominant at North Dakota State at times. Now, you do want to see more of consistency with the motor, I will say that because there were times in games I covered where you kind of forgot he was out there and he got completely lost. But that aside, when he's on, when he's playing his game, he is a serious issue, man. You pair him with a guy like Nick Pringle who played last season, a guy like Jaron Stevenson, another athletic hybrid forward, and I think this this group that was getting looked at as maybe limited – This upcoming season now looks like a strength on this team. And they've done some good things to bolster the backcourt in the transfer portal. So I I like how it's rounding out. But Grant Nelson is probably going to – I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say he's outright going to be the number one option. He will be the number one post option, though. And, I mean, he has a chance to lead this team in scoring and rebounding. And they unlock him more as a playmaker, potentially, playing with this level of talent. This Alabama team will be the best college team he's ever played on. And that's no disrespect to the Bison. That's just a credit to the job that that staff in Tuscaloosa is doing, bringing elite-level talent, first-round draft picks in there, and all-conference and player-of-the-year caliber players that they're bringing in 
through recruiting of the transfer portal, man. And Grant Nelson falls right in with that. I love what they did with the forwards last year, man. I think like a kid like Clowney, who he was optimized, his skill set, they let him play, man, and they catered to his strengths. And he really developed and continued to develop and sharpened his craft. And I think Grant Nelson can be that type of guy as well where he comes in, he's a hybrid forward, he's active, can get loose balls, can get put back dunks, can rim run, but can also get it off the dribble and create opportunities for himself as well. I think that's going to be one of the main things that he brings to this offense is a guy that can create offense for himself, but also has court vision and is able to make that pass outside of the post if they need him to make that play. And so I think this is a great get, man. I think he comes in and, it, I mean, he's going to be – all-conference level talent in the SEC. Like, he's going to come in and do damage. He's a kid that has had success at the Division One level already. He's come and experienced. He's played against elite-level programs over the last couple years that he's been with North Dakota, they, North Dakota State. They play a tough non-conference schedule, typically. So, he's seen, you know, Power 5 defenses, defenders. He's seen Power 5 action. So, I'm just excited to see the next level that they tap into with his game and how he just continues to unlock because it's layers, man. Like his best basketball is absolutely ahead of him, but I absolutely think this is such a great get. This makes this Alabama team who was kind of like on the fringe, so they, they should absolutely be ranked now. They should absolutely be ranked. What they've done in the portal, what they've retained, and the talent that they're bringing in, man, they absolutely should be ranked. I think this is going to be a surprisingly dangerous team, especially if they reach their max potential. They may have some hurdles in the beginning of the season, getting acclimated with all the new faces, but by the time tournament comes around, I think this team could really surprise some folks if they're being, you know, overlooked as an underdog, which they may be. But I love what Coach Oates has been doing in the portal the last couple of years. He does it again with Grant Nelson, man. I mean, this is such a great get, y'all. This is such a great get. And he plays he plays the game ex exciting, man. It's an exciting brand of basketball. Uh, the fans in Alabama are going to love Grant Nelson, man. Just He's that guy that's going to provide a highlight. He's a walking highlight reel. He's going to be the one <laughs> that puts a windmill and put your man through the goal and then looks at him and lets him know about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to come in and he's going to play with emotion. And I think that he's going to come in and really establish himself as one of the alphas on the court for this team. And they're going to have to rely on him. And I think he'll embrace that and shine in the role. I think they're going to utilize him at the four or the five, maybe both. Maybe both. Maybe he plays both, you know. I mean, he's got the length, you know. He'll get that SEC weight training in, get to put a little bit more weight on. So, it's exciting, man. I think that this gives him a prime opportunity to get a lot more national TV reps, get a lot of eyes on him that weren't there before. Um, and he'll be able to make that leap to the NBA. Man, I think he'll get a legit shot if he can handle business and do what he does in the SEC, man, this Alabama team has some success. Now, last year will be hard to follow up. 31-6 and six is tough, man. Being the number one seed in the NCAA tournament, like, that's a tough brand of basketball to follow up. That was a historic season for those guys. So, But I think this team will be exciting. I think they will be exciting, and I think that the school, the university will rally around these guys, man. So, happy Grant Nelson. Found a new home, man. Excited to see the future with him and how he continues to develop as a player. Uh, choose, chose Alabama over Arkansas, man. So, big deal for Roll Tide, baby, for the Tide. The Tide is changing. Anyways, let me know how y'all feel in the comments about everything, the commitment, how they will do this season, what y'all feel about Nelson's game. Holler at your boy in the comments. And if this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all the latest and the greatest. That's a wrap for us. This has been Live with Brandon Blakeney. I am Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Until next time, we out.